name is uh, Yuri Pashkin and I'm a co-director of Lancaster Quantum Technology Center. Quantum technologies hold the promise of delivering new types of products and services and also stimulate the economic growth. It is an excited field of physics that also cuts across engineering, chemistry, biology and so on. In our research we pursue several directions in developing quantum technologies. I'm John Prance, I'm a lecturer in the physics department at Lancaster University. We study very small electrical structures and circuits at very low temperatures to create new types of sensors, new ways of processing information and to understand how you can use quantum mechanics to produce new levels of performance. It is possible that you can use fundamentally quantum mechanical phenomena to make sensors that could be better than any sensor you could possibly make using normal classical physics. One of the applications of what we're working on is to help make better metrology standards. So metrology standards are what we use to measure everything. Basically, the better our standard is, the better we can measure. Everything we use in the world now is based on electronics. This can all become more precise. It can become cheaper to make in some cases. And if we can make these standards more accurate and define them more precisely, the better we can quantify everything, really. It underpins all of science. My name's Benjamin Robinson. My research interest is very much in the nanotechnology, nanoscience side of experimental physics. So I'm really interested what happens when you take fundamental physical features of materials or devices and you make them very small. And the effects are no longer considered the, the average properties of a bulk material. Things like surfaces and interfaces, and as they get smaller they become increasingly difficult to measure and to characterise. And they're the challenges and that's, that's what we're really interested in, looking at the physics and the characterisation of those interfaces and those really small sized features. The progression of most of technology is driven by something called Moore's Law, which says computing power increases because you make things smaller. And this means that if you go and buy a new laptop, it's more powerful than the laptop you bought 18 months ago. It means the CCD in a digital camera captures more megapixels. It means your mobile phone can perform more devices but doesn't weigh twice as much as your old mobile phone. And in order to drive this continuation, the components, the transistors, and all the little bits of electronics that go on the chips in these devices get smaller and smaller. So from a technological point of view, in order to maintain this progression in technology, we have to understand the science as these things get smaller. So there's several reasons why this is happening at the moment in Lancaster. There's a lot of existing expertise at Lancaster in advanced refrigeration technology. Some of the coldest refrigerators in the world have been built here. There's also been recent investment in uh, nanofabrication facilities. So these are instruments and rooms and environments that you need to build these electronic circuits that then we cool to low temperature. And moreover, we have the capability to make uh, structures that are as small or sometimes even smaller than what you can have in state-of-the-art semiconductor processing. The university has a history of scanning probe microscopy. Scanning probe microscopy is very different. It lets us resolve things much smaller than the, the wavelength of light, which is the limiting factor normally in the optical microscopy. So if you're making things very small, you want this, these new techniques to be able to characterise and to be able to actually see what is going off on the nanoscale. And Lancaster has a, a great history of this, particularly in looking at things like thermal properties and nanomechanical properties. Our quantum technology centre is built around the clean room that has state-of-the-art nanofabrication facilities, including the electron beam writer, plasma processing machines, and various types of thin film deposition machines. So there's also a very nice culture of working together at Lancaster between different research groups and different researchers. So there's a lot of sharing of ideas and discussion and joint projects and this cross-pollination is a really fun thing to be a part of. So our Quantum Technology Centre is not only about cutting-edge research but also engaging with industries in order to develop real processes that will become eventually the products and services that everyone can use.